how you guys doing hope you guys are doing good um thank you all for liking my channel and subscribing it um in my review box i had that there are people saying that you want uh, they want understanding in the lower limb region so i'm gonna make a video of the lower limb so you all can understand from there and i'm also gonna make a video of how you want to study your um, med school and which books i prescribe to use and i would subscribe to you all to use that too uh, so let's get started with our lower limb in the case as in the upper limb we have the lower limb it is divided into a total of five regions number one is your gluteal region then you have the uh, what is this region thigh region then you have the knee region then you have the leg region, your ankle, and your foot region. Now we're about the cutaneous nerves of this leg. Now, as in anatomy, we have studied in our GA chapter 1 that it has been divided into a lateral that is away from the midline, and then you have about the middle one. So how are you guys doing? It is divided into a medial and a lateral part, and you have the upper and the lower part let's study and as all these are the cutaneous nerves so we are the nerves that are coming from the anterior and posterior rama of the spinal cord located in your brain all right let's start with the first number one we're going to study is that the upper medial one so this is the upper and along the medial side the upper medial part of this lower limb it is receiving its cutaneous nerve from the posterior rama from the back side of the upper three lumbar nerve and the upper three sacral nerve then you have the lateral side. The upper lateral quadrant of the lower limb, it is receiving its branches, but not from the posterior side, from the anterior ramen of your, uh, your iliohypogastric nerve. That uh, quadrant of the, uh, your lower limb, it is supplied from your lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. And the lower medial side of the lower limb region it is supplied from your posterior cutaneous nerve of the th and in between there are lymph nodes uh, that are present in your superficial inguinal lymph node we will study later on now, now this whole lower limb it is surrounded by two about the fascia there's a superficial fascia and there's a deep fascia the superficial fascia which is present right in front of it whereas the deep fascia which is present deep to it the deep fascia yeah, it becomes continuous with the deep fascia of the th about the thigh and the fascia lateral and on the lateral side it extends downward and it forms the iliotibial tract which extends from the gluteal region of the lateral border of the tib and uh, here uh, it plays an important role and it gets the insertion of your gluteus maximus muscle and your